Well, surprise to penny through Philippians today, second part of chapter two. Explore chapter one, which two, uh, last week. We sort of move on to the question, if you like. Paul has reflected to one, and he's regarding their affairs worthy of the gospel. Now we get a, and it all has to do Philippi, 19 to 23, and Epaphroditus, 30. It's to note that what letter, all of these, but by the leaders of this letter, received that some of these visits place. And Epaphroditus, as he is likely the one all in Rome, to the church. After the previous verse, these next few verses are quite mundane, really, heading on to the next point. It's just two people who are going. But we can't neglect any ways. It has the whole letter and the reasons behind it. As you know, we're in the diocese working with people in their vocation and what they do. It's most like ordained ministry that we're expecting. One of the many documents is a reference. Yeah? And one from out in employment context. And a recommendation from the bishop. And interviewed them, explored the bishop that has to say, yes, I'm now known as a stage two pastor. These documents, a picture of who that, myself have to write a reference on the different criteria implicated than it should be. There's six, but actually they've done a grid, so there's now, never mind. These documents serve people who will be meeting, interviewing them, and exploring being called by God. Because by the time I get there and spent time with the cats, usually about monthly, and talking with them about faith and what they're out to them. I receive these references with the person that I've been talking particularly to the church one. Actually, I'm really active in the church. And then the reference comes in. The- nothing wrong with that, but that's, there is nothing wrong with the hospitality rotor. <laughs> oh, now and carry on. <laughs> but you get the point. Does the, per- the person on paper? They don't. Anyways, an interview brief snapshot. When Julian, for me and the Archdeacon, you had about, well, I think it was half an hour to get to know who I was. Documents, uh, the, the, all you saw of me. Hopefully I was the person that matched the paper. I'm going to ask that question now. It's often the reference more about the individual, because they think about them. And, and in many ways, well, in many ways, these references for Timotheus, separately, we're going to start with Timothy, for Ditus. So he's writing a reference, that's why I was talking about references, and the arrives matching on paper. What do we know about Timothy? Can come across as nervous, himself, but Paul faith in him as a man. And from the weather, we know that though Timothy already he will care genuinely for the servant of the gospel. So in many ways, Timothy here in these, despite being for thought about the Christian ministry, Paul and Timothy have worked. Paul tells us in verse twenty-two, and this was a those sons followed their father, and they did it copying. So he's watched what Paul has been Paul has been doing. As to go back, go to Philip Paul's place. Element of that intimate bond that Paul trusts Timothy himself would. Now Paul ends, Timothy is a one, or Timothy is a very devout. But what does in verse 20? I have no one who takes a genuine your welfare. I have no one who takes a genuine interest. He is going the people themselves. In many ways, definition of what a good pastor should be. the unselfish love that as Jesus did, rather than to the person whom Timothy will serve the church with selfish love, needs over his, as Paul would and as Jesus. Timothy is different, Paul knows. I have no one else. And in many ways, the complete bleak picture of us at the time. Very good at looking at But Timothy, what we see is a genuinely interest for others over themselves. After the interest of Jesus. It's essentially shown for allegiance to Jesus as they are not distantly related. And together as one, allegiance to Jesus individually and corporately. That could be a mission. It follows on looking at last week about unity. Others' needs above our own. Because when we come to allegiance to Jesus as king, he comes by the power of the family. In can work as a church. When we give our allegiance, you support you, Tim, as our vicar. I come in here to say, I give my life to serve you. In many ways, in the way that tip Paul, go and serve them, put your, in their interests above your own. That's the model, as I've said before, to be a Barnabas, to encourage you, so that you can live as and as disciples place on the front line. I'm a Christian ministry, kind of Christian ministry, my days with other Christians. You can, I know you don't from speaking, your friends, your families, your mates, your colleagues. You are on the front, and it's my role to help support you in that, because we have to put others in. And that is what Paul and telling us will come to dwell and corporately. And to serve his people are his son. So to care for to care for the Messiah's body, church as the people. 
building, but the church is ultimately the people that is no church. Use church this morning, I'm thinking of it. To care for the church is what you do because it's caring for his. That, I, when he says work in the gospel, when he gives that reference. on us that Paul is upholding as an example and earlier in chapter 2. is to act like Jesus and not, but to stand as a model. And too often say, are talking the talk, but I'll walk. Saying on Sunday, yes, I believe. Sunday morning when somebody says, oh, what did you do? I went to see some friends in the morning. Perhaps you go. Well, no, I went to. But it's the networks that Paul asked before, internet, telephone, to maintain the unity. It's to make church. Timothy will be one more link to us. It was in the 21st century. We maintain links. Because friendship in the Messiah's body, our family, are beyond those of us that are, and those of us that can't be with us. We are part of a world. We have sisters across the globe. It's not just us in it wants us to do. We are family. French geography goes beyond culture. French should be a t- seeking. That is one way of becoming what Paul wanted could be. The darkness of the world. We see in a model of what the church could be. A bit wrong. We intend not to put Jesus in other congregations and care. They try to promote themselves. The institute of very, very different church that is portrayed. That model. A light in a dark. Where the church can be a family. Where the church has needs before our own. Be a place where we come and get filled into the world to make a different light. We're not just long friends. We should be lights. We should be speaking truth in the world. Because people need, people need to hear. The, and if we are not sharing in like Timothy, what prepared to stand up? On and go and be a beacon of hope. This morning, we were talking about is a beacon. In a picture the Lord gave me, and I was up on Warden Hill building. It's quite small from up. It's, I was just putting God. That is my beacon of the church of hope. Yet the church, because we have got it wrong. To be a culture church and then keep going down the wrong path. We need to get back. Start with our church leaders. That's fun. Modeling the way so that the rest of the church if I go back to what I say, feel is as a Barnabas to encourage, I need to be modeling that and go and model that. Just for me to do that. It's for every and our higher up doing a very good job of that at the moment. They really are not. But we have the idea of coming to church. But coming to church to you and build ourselves up, ourselves up in the, in the past, but not to build ourselves up disciples of Jesus Christ and helping each other out. Think back to the start of chapter 2 as a family with the friends. Our ideas and our plans are Christ-centered. And to love one another. Walk that walk as disciples. Are we prepared? That is a culture shift. Again, it brings us make us counterculture. what the world sees. Not what the world tells us. Is the world up. It's about having everything. It's about making sure that authority and status. That's where the church is counter. We hear of the church in negative. When it's on safeguard. Or this is only going to increase as we have a week after. I can't remember when it exactly is. Where are the good news? Why were these acting in lockdown? Communities. The church was supporting people. Why was the church doing good things? Because it doesn't make good news. The media has takes any of bad things about the church. Difference. Let's not have any bad stories to report in a minute. What's going on in the world? There's something. Often too many grumbles. Often take things far too And we often forget bigger picture. It's not just this thing called church work. That's not what it's about. Wrong. But learn to play our part of the story of what God is alongside God and to do. 21 years old. Way, but let's be honest, in a fallen, broken, and there will be trouble and say that everything will be plain sailing. The fallen world that we live in. The testimony of you as the faith church can sh- when a church pulls and does what Paul based on what Jesus that church. A lot of difficult times. Said it before, we're in the news once again. For that, and I give thanks to you for that. Timothy, what about Epaphras? Well, Paul refers to having gone to Paul and helping. And in many ways, these few shimps and getting Paul's life in true perspective. His letters cannot all be de theology. Otherwise, when I look at sort of some of my books and think, that's enough for today, we'd never listen otherwise. The view that Paul has or strain without any will of joy and ethic. Well, he did have all of them, but we also know that Paul did. He was shipwrecked, didn't have an easy friend, but we're able to see everything that he went through. What joy really was, it was not. Paul is truly glad with him, and he is thought that he. Might. So, what is that we need to be emotions? 
joy does not mean a life and rejoicing that Paul is knowing that God for the powers of evil hey, he will and justice raising us to the kingdom that Paul speaks of we're going to feel emotions in, it doesn't feel it doesn't mean a sadness and it doesn't mean that we can forget it after ourselves we have that eternal joy in touch with our emotions and we can take them to, to the Lord because it's human emotion that helps to bind us to an affection and love for Paul joy hope it means it should be now we know that but, it's as is proclaimed as Lord and King. If we didn't, Paul is saying we are denying a given us. The call to rejoice of Paul, focus in the second half of the call to ignore or forget our lives. His own path of humble obedience at the graveside garden of Gethsemane. Jesus probably didn't have pure at the side of Lazarus. He sweats in Gethsemane. You can't. Jesus was fine. See a feeling and look after. Paul tells and reminds us of that all of us are expected to be facing everything with honesty. Paul is not of this young church. He's not afraid of abilities. That is part of the point of the letter in Corinth. Read a moment of this letter to Philippi. He believes that Jesus was crucified by the power of God to believe in that. Epaphroditus, who liked the path laid down in the verse at the start of chapter 2, not sought his own well-being first. He's his life for the gospel. Reminder of Jesus, the king we serve. And in the 21st century, lessons once again from the earth. Do we need to make live so that we can truly live? Adjustments so we can start acting Timothy and Epaphroditus and themselves on Jesus. Paul, Timothy, and us a chance to their faith in a, to where we find ourselves. So perhaps in the 21st century, us at the moment. See, as a Paul, just for us, themselves to the work of the gospel. There's needs in front of that. Perhaps the church. Listen here for us as individuals. It's a big, big. Are we ready? Jesus, what it truly should be. Prepared to go out into a, those beacons of light. Hear the message. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you to us through Scripture. Thank you for the model that Paul and us show us. Thank you that they model themselves. Jesus Christ, our Lord. We pray for the church that we could become of hope. Those lights for the dark. We pray that you would adjust how we see so that we can put others that we are truly worthy as individually to be Christ, to love one another as disciples no matter what life throws up. Come and have your we pray.